Hello, I'm Heather and welcome to the beautiful Engadine of Switzerland. We will begin with the feet shoulder width apart, begin to sway the arms left and right. Bend the knees, soften the hips, the shoulders, all the joints in your body. So you begin to tap on your low belly and low back, knocking on the door of life to wake up and energize the spine and to also purge of any residual negative energy, stress, or emotion that you want to let go of. Deep breaths in through the nose, and each time you exhale out the mouth, release, let go, let go, let go. As you become warmer, you can begin to twist from your central axis even more. So your central axis extends from the middle, the top of your head, all the way down straight through you to the pelvic floor and out to the perineum. So feel this central column, central axis, filling up with more and more light as you continue to twist. That light is pressing all of that that no longer serves you out through the breath. Continue to twist, but slow it down. Gentler and gentler, come to standing. Coming into tree pose for Kasana. So come up on your left toes. You can stay with your toes on the mat or bring your foot to your shin or to your inner thigh, but never on the knee. Extend the arms overhead, palms pressed together. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Think of three things you are grateful for. Slowly release out of the pose and we'll come into Prakasana Baum tree pose on the other side. Come to the height at which you would like the foot to be, but never on the knee joint. Hands to the heart or extend the arms up overhead, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears and think of five things you are grateful for. I am so grateful for and really feel the emotion of gratitude. Release the hands, release the foot. Come to the front of your mat, the top of your mat. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up, look up. And exhale, hands to the heart center. Just a few circular motions. Inhale, the arms out, around and up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Grow your breath all the way down into your belly. Arms sweep up. And exhale, the hands to the heart. Inhale the arms up and exhale, fold over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, flow up halfway, fingertips to the thighs, flat back. Exhale, fold over your legs. Step far back with your right leg, left knee over the left ankle. And then pull your feet towards one another, feel that strength. Tuck the chin, round the spine. Exhale, soften the hips, look forward. Inhale, pull the feet together, tuck the chin round the spine. Exhale, release. Inhale, tuck the chin round the spine. Exhale, look forward. Inhale, tuck the chin round the spine. And exhale, soften and look forward. Inhale, tuck. And exhale, release the right knee all the way to the mat. Bring your hands up to your left thigh or sweep them up overhead. Low lunge, lift up out of the low back, and pull the left ankle back as you pull your right knee forward. 
Feel how that gives you strength and stability to lift up out of the low back, open across the chest a little bit more. Extend the arms forward, bring your right elbow to the outside of the left knee and twist. Palms pressed together, the elbows are wide. Sink your breath all the way down into your belly. And on each inhale, feel the belly expand and the ribs expand to the left and right. Release the fingertips to the mat, come up on your back toes and slowly straighten your front leg. Relaxing your heart towards your left leg in your mouth. I don't have the blocks here. Remember, you can always use blocks to serve you and help you feel supported and nourished. In this case, you'd bring the blocks on either side of your left foot. Inhale, bend back into the front knee and exhale, press back at a Mukha Shavasana. Expand your fingertips wide from one another and then bring some movement into your downward dog, bending one knee and then the other. Bend both knees, come up on the toes and sink the heels down. So find even more space along your entire spine and relax your shoulders away from your ears. So you flow forward to plank, tilt your hip bones up towards your chest. Feel the strength that is within you. Lower the knees down to the mat. And you can lower with your knees down on the mat or in one straight line onto your belly. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Keep those elbows tight into your side body and roll the shoulders back. So you're pulling the shoulder blades onto your back. Spread across the chest and lower back down. Inhale, lift up to Urdhva Mukha Shavasana. So straighten the legs, press into the tops of the feet to lift the legs up off of the mat, spread across the heart. Feel the joy growing in the heart despite the intensity of the posture. Then slowly lower back down. Curl the toes under and press back. Adha Mukha Shavasana. Downward facing dog. Spread those fingers again. Press into the second knuckle of each fingertip. So take the weight out of the wrists. And spread it across the hand. See if there's any pinching between your shoulder blades and wrap your outer arms towards one another as you lift your left leg up and step the foot through. No rush, you can always grab your shin and help your foot forward. Inhale, stretch the arms out and up, coming into a lana, into a high lunge. Make sure your left knee once again is above the left ankle and lift up out of the low back, maybe go back. Feel the opening through your psoas of your right hip. Extend the arms forward, release the fingertips to the mat and step the right foot forward. Inhale, halfway up. Really pull the shoulder blades on the back. Exhale, fold. Sit down deep for Ukatasana, chair pose. So scoop your pelvis under, flat low back. Sit down. Feel the heat and the intensity burning away any and all that no longer serves you. Integrating, pulling into that central line that runs through you as you rise up straight legs, hands to the heart center. I'll turn to face you, inhale, sweep your left arm up, bend to the right and sweep the arm around and back to your hip. Sweep up with the right arm, around and back to your hip. Once again, the left arm flows up over the ear and around. The right arm flows up over the ear and around. Feel these circular movements, how they are opening the side body. You're also tracing like a figure eight, which is very healing. Inhale, both arms up. And exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, sweep the palms out and up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Feel like you're clearing your auric field as you sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart. One more time, inhale the arms out and up. Exhale, fold forward over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway up. Exhale, Uttanasana. 
Step far back with your left foot, right knee directly over the ankle. Now pull the right foot back as you pull the left foot forward, tuck the chin round the spine. Exhale, soften the hips and look forward. Inhale, tuck and exhale, soften. Inhale, pull the feet together round the spine. Exhale, relax and stretch those hips. Inhale, tuck the chin round the spine. Exhale, look forward. One more time, inhale, tuck. And exhale, release your left knee softly to the mat. You can always double up the mat to soften for the knee. Bring your hands up to your thigh or sweep your arms up overhead. Pull your right hip back as you pull your left knee forward. Feel that strength and stability. And from that, lift up out of the low back. Lean back, open the heart center. Every time we do heart openers, it's energizing. Now extend the arms forward, bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee, hands press at the heart, elbows wide, twist to the right. Twists really massage all of your inner organs as well as acting very healing detox for your digestion. This flow today, we're also targeting the fascia as well as increasing your strength and flexibility, straighten your back leg. Come up on the left toes and then straighten your right leg. Remember, you can always use blocks on either side of that front foot. Come back into your deep breath. Ground the hands. Step your foot back. Coming into Downward Facing Dog, Adha Mukha Shavasana. Spread the fingers wide. Feel yourself grounding to the earth as if you're sending roots through the soles of the feet and your hands down deep into the center of the earth and ask for her to receive you. Even if this is out there for you, ask to be supported by the earth. Inhale forward to plank. You can always bring your knees down when we flow through these vinyasas, so that's an option for you. Here in plank, feel how strong you are. One straight line, ankles all the way up through the crown of the head. One more deep breath. And then on the exhale, come forward on the toes, knees on the mat or in one straight line, lower to your belly. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, Bhujangasana or Urdhva Mukha straighten the legs, lift the legs up away from the mat, spread across the heart. Feel into the fire of this heart opener. Make sure that your heels are in line with your legs and aren't splaying out as you lower back down to the mat. Curl the toes under, press the mat away, Adha Mukha Feel the length of your spine every time you come into this pose increasing. So it doesn't matter if your heels come to the mat, we want a long spine. Press the right leg up to the sky, bend the right knee and step the foot between your hands. You can always help by grabbing onto the shin, guiding your leg forward. Lift the arms up. You can always bend your left knee a little if you feel any twinge in the low back. Pull your feet towards midline and use the stability to lift up out of the low back and go back. Open the heart, open the chest. Stretch your arms forward, fingertips to the mat, step the back foot forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Sit down deep for Utkatasana chair pose. Scoop that pelvis forward again, long low back. No matter how many times I do it, I always need to check. Sit down maybe a little deeper, feel the fire, let it purify anything you wanna release. Let it go into the flames of this fiery pose. Stand up, hands to the heart. Come into those circles again, lift the left arm up, sweep it around and down to the hip. Inhale the right arm up, around and down. Two more times each side. Feel like you are cleansing your energy body here, which you are. 
these crossover circular patterns very healing. Inhale, both arms up and exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Step way back with your right leg, low lunge, one time only. Tuck the chin round the spine, pull the feet together. Exhale, soften the hips, right knee to the mat. Inhale, lift up, low lunge, and exhale, twist to your left. So you inhale, sweep your left arm back behind you, and then bring your palms to press in prayer again. Release your fingertips to the mat, curl the back toes under, straighten the back leg, and straighten the front leg. Inhale, rebend into the front knee, and exhale, Adha Mukho Shavasana. Inhale, forward plank, knees on the mat or straight legs, lower all the way down onto your belly. Bhujangasana, inhale, exhale, lower down. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha upward facing dog. Exhale, lower down to your belly. Press the mat away, Adha Mukha Shavasana. So you inhale, lift your left leg up, bend the knees, step your foot between your hands. Find your structure and inhale, lift up, high lunge, Alana. Exhale, fingertips to the earth, and close your feet. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Ukatasana, chair pose, sweep the arms up, and as you exhale, hands to the heart. We'll do Inhale, sweep the arm up, around, and back to your hip, and then sweep the other arm up, around, and back to your hip. Sweep both arms up, lean back, exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Step back with your left foot. Inhale, tuck the chin, round the spine, pull the feet towards one another, and exhale, lower your left knee to the mat. Inhale, lift the arms, lift up out of the low back, extend the arms forward, and then bring the left elbow to the outside of the knee. Stretch your right arm behind you, bring the palms to touch. Fingertips to the mat. Straighten and strengthen the back leg and then straighten your front leg. Rebend into the front knee. And step back, Adha Mukha Shavasana. As you breathe in, flow forward to plank. As you breathe out, lower all the way down to your belly. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale, lift up, Bhujangasana. Exhale, down. Urdhva Mukha Shavasana. Lift the heart. And lower all the way down to the mat. Press the mat away. Adha Mukha Shavasana. As you breathe in, lift the right leg up. Bend the knees. Step the foot through. Coming up, high lunge, Alana. Extend forward through the fingertips. Fingertips to the earth. Step the back foot forward to meet. Come halfway up and fold Uttanasana. Ukatasana, chair pose. Sit down deep. Hands to the heart. Sweep your right arm up, over the ear, round and back to the hip. Sweep your left arm up, over the ear, and back around to the hip. Sweep both arms up, lean back. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana, hips over ankles. Inhale, lengthen the spine, come halfway up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Step far back with the right foot. Tuck the chin, round the spine, pull the feet towards one another. Exhale, release the right knee down to the mat. Inhale, lift the arms, go back, low lunge. Exhale, extend the arms forward, twist to your left. Extend your left arm behind you, hands press in prayer. Fingertips to the earth, curl the back toes under, straighten the leg, and straighten the front leg. Rebend into your left knee, and then step back, Adha Mukha Shavasana. Deep breath in. As you exhale, roll forward to plank. Deep breath in, and as you exhale, lower down to your mat, belly on the mat. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, Bhujangasana or Urdhva Mukha Shavasana. Exhale, lower down. Curl the toes under, Adha Mukha Shavasana. Inhale, lift the left leg up, 
And exhale, step the left foot between the hands. Inhale, high lunge, we'll lift up out of the low back, lift the arms. Exhale, fingertips to the mat. Step the back foot forward to meet the left. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Utkatasana chair, and then hands to the heart. Sweep the arm up over the ear, around and down. Sweep the arm up over the ear, around and down. Both arms sweep up, lean back, exhale, fold, dive over your legs. Lengthen the spine as you rise halfway up. Exhale, fold. Step way back with the left foot. Inhale, pull the feet towards midline, tuck the chin around the spine. Lower the left knee softly to the mat. Inhale, lift up out of the low back, low lunge. And then twist to your right. Sweep the right arm behind you. Press the palms together. Lower the fingertips to the mat. Curl the back toes under. And then straighten the front leg. Rebend into the right knee. Ground the hands. Adha Mukha Shavasana. As you flow forward to plank, feel strength. Lower down onto the belly. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, Bhujangasana or Urdhva Mukha Shavasana, upward facing dog. Lower to the belly and press the mat away. Adha Mukha Shavasana. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, step the right foot between the hands. Inhale, high lunge, Alana. Exhale, fingertips to the earth. Step the left foot forward to meet the right. Inhale, Ardha. Exhale, Uttanasana. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Hands to heart. Release the palms down now. As you inhale, lift the palms to heart height. Lift up on the toes and exhale, lower the heels and the palms with grace few times here. As you lift up, feel the energy rise, and as you lower down, feel it fall. Smooth out your transitions. This is called fire and water unite. Face forward if you've turned like I have, sweep the arms up, and dive over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Step way back with your left leg. And come up for Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Keep your shoulders stacked over your hips as you strengthen and straighten your back leg and relax your shoulders away from your ears. As you scoop your pelvis under and engage your abs. Your gaze is forward, out, over your fingertips, feel the strength within you. Then inhale, sweep your palms slowly up to the sky, straighten your front leg with control. Exhale, lower the arms back down as you rebend into the knee. Inhale, sweep your front arm up and over the ear, lean back. Exhale, bend deeper into the knee. So we're coming into a pulse here. As you breathe in, lean back, stretch, and as you breathe out, re-bend into the front knee even deeper. Feel the side body stretching and opening, all the fascia opening up. Bring your front elbow to the thigh. Extend your back arm straight up to the sky or over your ear. Now scoop your front hip under, roll your chest open. If you want to go deeper, fingertips to the inside of the front foot or in between the toes for Parsvakanasana, side angle. Feel this beautiful line of energy from the outside edge of the back foot all the way up through the fingertips. Feel the meridians along your side body opening. Come back up, lean back, straighten your front leg, stretch across the other side body, the front side body. Little break here. Extend forward over your front leg. Keep your side body long here in Trikonasana. Front hand to the shin, a block, your ankle or in between your toes. 
and maximize the length of your side body over how deep you come down into the pose. Look at that top arm. See if it's in line with the bottom arm. Sometimes, quite often in the studio, I see students bring their arm way back behind them. Inhale, lift up, go back, and exhale, ground the hands, low lunge. Straighten the front leg. Little hamstring love, rebend into the front knee, Adam Makoshavasana. Inhale, flow forward to plank. Knees on the mat or lower all the way down in straight line. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, lower. Inhale, Urdhva Makoshavasana. Exhale, lower back down. Press the mat away, Adam Makoshavasana. Bring the feet together, and then sweep your right leg up to the sky. Bend the knee, and stack your right hip over the left hip. Only if this feels good to you, press evenly into both hands. You can play with keeping the knee bent or extending it straight. Then bend the knee, sweep the foot forward in between the hands. Step the left foot forward, inhale halfway up, exhale fold. Inhale, chair pose, Ukutasana. Exhale, hands to the heart. Now fire and water unite. So as you inhale, pull the palms up to heart height, rise up on the toes, then lower the palms and the heels to the mat. Smooth out the transitions. Feel the energy lift and rise, and then fall. Feel yang and yin energy within you coming into balance. And inhale, sweep the palms out and up. Exhale, fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Step way back with your right leg. Pivot the edge of the foot down and sweep up for Warrior Two, Virabhadrasana Two. Shoulders stay over hips. Relax the shoulders away from the ears and scoop your pelvis forward. Feel your belly engage. And inhale, lift the palms again. Make sure you're really relaxed in the shoulder blades and shoulders. Inhale, lift the palms up, press the palms up to the sky, straighten the front leg, and exhale, rebend into the knee. Sweep the front arm open and lean back. Now there's this pulse, fascia pulse, so you press back and then rebend into the front knee. Really stretch the side body and then re-bend into the knee. Lean back, go back, and re-bend into the knee. Inhale, and then exhale. Inhale deeply, and then bring the left elbow to the front thigh. Sweep the right arm straight up to the sky, or extend it over your ear. You can stay here, bring the hand to the inside of the foot or between the toes for Parsva Kanasana side angle. More and more, pull your front hip under you so you can roll your chest, roll your rib cage open to the sky. Feel the meridians along your side body opening and then sweep the left arm up. You might wanna shorten your stance a little bit as you lean back and stretch the left side body. Viparita Trikonasana. Push the hips back as you bring the hand to a block, your shin. Sweep the right arm up and it's in a straight line with the lower arm. Keep the side body long so you melt as deep as you'd like to go. Keep pressing the hips back as you extend and lengthen out the crown of the head. Inhale, lift the left arm up, lean back. Exhale, ground the hands, come up on the back toes. Step the left foot back, Adha Mukha Shavasana. Inhale, roll forward to plank. You can always skip these vinyasas if you'd like to. Come down onto the belly, Bhujangasana. If you'd like to, do Bhujangasana again or come up for Urdhva Mukha Shavasana. Lower back down, press the mat away, Adha Mukha Shavasana. Deep breath in, side out the mouth. Then lift that left leg up, 
Keep it up there, or you can stack your left hip over the right hip, bending the left knee, opening the hip, pressing evenly into the front hands. Extend the left leg behind you, and then step the left foot forward in between the hands. Step the back foot forward to meet the left. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Utkatasana. Sit down, straighten the legs. Lift up on the toes, lift the palms to heart height, flip the palms, lower the heels and the hands. Inhale, sweep the palms out and up. Fold over your legs. Come up halfway. Exhale, Uttanasana. Step way back with your right leg. Coming up, Warrior Two, Virabhadrasana Two. Lower the arms. Slowly lift the palms to press up to the sky, straighten the front leg. Lower the arms, bend into the front knee. Sweep the front arm up and back. Here's a little micro pulse one time. Then elbow to the thigh, Parsvakonasana. Sweep the front arm up. Lean back, Viparita Trikonasana, and then Trikonasana. Inhale, Viparita Trikonasana. Exhale, lunge. Step back, Adha Mukha Shavasana, and stay here, or Vinyasa. One time, Bhujangasana. And as you inhale, Urdhva Mukha Shavasana. Press the mat away, Adha Mukha Shavasana. Bend the right knee, stack the right hip over the left, extend the right leg up, and step your foot forward in between your hands. Step the back foot forward, inhale Ardha Uttanasana, exhale Uttanasana. Utkatasana, chair, and hands to the heart. Just one time, lift up on your toes, lift the palms, exhale, lower the heels and the palms. Sweep your arms out and up, fold forward. Ardha Uttanasana, exhale Uttanasana. Step way back with your right foot, coming up, Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Release the arms down, press the palms to the sky, straighten your front leg slowly, lower the arms down, flip the palm, lean back. Reverse Warrior, Viparita, Virabhadrasana. Elbow to the thigh, Parsvakonasana. Inhale, Viparita, Trikonasana, and then Trikonasana. As you inhale, stretch back, Viparita, Trikonasana. Ground the hands to a lunge. Step back, Adha Mukha Shavasana. Stay here, or flow through your Vinyasa. You can do two times Bhujangasana, or... The second one, flow up, Urdhva Mukha Shavasana. Release back down, press the mat away, Adha Mukha Shavasana. Lifting your left leg up to the sky. Stay here or bend the left knee, stacking your left hip over the right. Extend your leg behind you and step the left foot forward, lunge. Step the right foot forward, fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Utkatasana, chair. Hands to the heart. Flow that again. Inhale, rise up on the toes, lift the palms. Exhale, lower the palms and the heels. Sweep the arms up and fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Step way back with your left foot coming up. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, flip the palms, press them to the sky, straighten the front leg. Exhale, rebend into the front knee. Stretch left arm forward, lean back. One micro pulse here. Coming into Parsvakonasana, come as deep as you'd like to come. Sweep the front arm up and back, Viparita Trikonasana. Trikonasana. Inhale, Viparita Trikonasana. As you exhale, come up on the back toes to a lunge. Grand the hands, Adha Mukha Shavasana. Stay here or flow through your vinyasa. 
So you inhale Bhujangasana and exhale down. Inhale Urdhva Mukha Shavasana and lower back down. Press the mat away, Adha Mukha Shavasana. Bring your feet together. Inhale, lift your right leg up, stay here or bend the right knee, stack the hips. Inhale, straighten the leg back behind you and exhale, step the right foot forward. Low lunge, step the left foot forward, flat back, extend the spine, exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, Ukatasana, hands to the heart. One time, fire and water unite, lift onto the toes, lower the heels. Sweep the palms up. Exhale, dive over the legs. Extend forward through the crown of the head halfway up. Exhale, fold. Step way back with the right leg. Coming into Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. As you inhale, lift the palms to the sky, straighten the front leg. Exhale, lower the palms, bend into the left knee. Sweep the left arm up. Go back one micro pulse here. Stretch that fascia in the side body. Parsva Kanasana, ever level you of deepness you want to come into. Sweep the arm up and back. Deeper to Trikanasana and then Trikanasana. Inhale Viparita Trikanasana and as you exhale, come into your lunge. Step back, Adha Mukha Shavasana, stay here or flow through your vinyasa. You can always skip these vinyasas. You can always just do two times Bhujangasana if you'd like. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Shavasana if you opt for it. Exhale, release. Press the mat away, Adha Mukha Shavasana. Step the feet together, lift the left leg up. Bend the left knee, stack the hip. Extend the left leg behind you, step the left foot forward, low lunge. Step the right foot forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Chair pose, Ukatasana. Hands to the heart. Woo, good job. Now we're coming into dancer. So the first option is just to pull the heel into the back body. Bring your right arm up to the sky, index finger and thumb to touch, stay here. Second option, grab the outside or the inside, the left foot, and kick the foot into the hand, up and back. Feel the heart opening. If you want to more and more, stretch forward as you kick the foot back. So you're ready, you can release out of the pose. Good. Second side. Extend your left arm up. Bring your index finger and thumb to touch. Just begin with pulling the ankle into your back body. Stay here or kick the foot into the hand. You may want to continue to stay more upright or extend more and more forward. Massive heart opener. Our balance is different every day, so don't judge. We just show up and practice. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. <sighs> out of the mouth, fold forward. Inhale, really pull your shoulder blades onto your spine as you come up halfway and exhale, fold. Bring your feet shoulder width, grab onto opposite elbows and just hang here in Uttanasana. Or second option, bring your hands under your feet. Lift your shoulder blades away from your ears and bring your weight more and more forward as you fold into yourself. This is very soothing for the nervous system. Then release. Come halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Whew. Take a seat. Extend your legs out, stretch your arms up, flex your toes towards you, and grab onto your shins, your toes, your feet. Stretch up out of the low back, pull your belly in, and fold forward. Pajimotanasana. 
You can stay still or you can work with the micro pulse here. So every in breath, you extend out of the low back, look forward, and as you exhale, use your belly to fold you deeper into the pose. So these micro pulses are really healing and beneficial. Just feel what you're feeling in your body. Where is this stretch in your body? It's different for all of us. Inhale, stretch the arms up and exhale, release the arms down. Baddha Konasana, bring the soles of the feet together. Grab onto the feet, stay here or fold forward any amount. Begin to deepen your breathing. If you want to, you can begin to sway left and right. If you have a block, you can lower your forehead down onto the block, perhaps. You can repeat the affirmation here. I am safe. I am strong. I am loved. And slowly rise up and come all the way down onto your belly. Extend your legs out long behind you, your arms out in front of you. We're coming into a Shalabhasana flow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sweep the arms behind. Inhale, stretch the arms forward. Exhale, swim the arms back. Inhale, stretch apart. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Inhale, extend the arms forward. Exhale, swim the arms back. Inhale, stretch, extend. Exhale, stretch the arms back behind you. Inhale, last time, sweep the arms back, and then lower your forehead down on top of your hands. Just allow your hips to rock and sway left and right. Healing movement, micro movement for the low back. Deepen your breathing, bringing your breath all the way down into your low back. One more time, lift up Shalabhasana. Stay here, or bend the knees. Keep your arms extended behind you or grab onto the ankles or the feet underneath the toes. Dhanurasana, lovely heart opener. So kick the feet up and back, spread across the chest. Inhale, lift up higher and exhale, soften. Inhale, lift up higher, exhale to soften. Inhale, lift up higher. Exhale, soften. Inhale, lift, expand across the chest, and then exhale, release. <sighs> release the sigh out of the mouth. One more time, deep breath in. Sigh out the mouth. <sighs> and come back to breathing in and out of your nose. Rise up on to your forearms, coming into forearm plank on the knees or with straight legs. Stay here, inhale, lift the left leg up, bring the knee to the chest and lower the foot down. Inhale the right leg up, knee to chest, extend leg behind you, toes to the mat. Inhale, left leg up, knee to the chest, extend the leg back and down. Inhale, right leg up, knee to the chest, extend the right leg back and down. Few more times here, your own pacing. We're building some strength and heat in the core. And you can also feel your back body working here, the back of the legs and the buttocks. So really press back through the heel as you lift the leg and extend it back again. Just a few more times. Continue to breathe deeply. You're stronger than you know. Come just into plank and lower all the way down, belly to the mat. Sphinx pose. Bend the left knee, reach back with the left arm. If you can't grab the foot, no problem. Just extend that left arm back behind you and bend the knee. If you have the foot, pull your foot in towards your left hip. You may want to swivel the left fingers forward and press the foot towards the hip. So wherever you are is beautiful. You are enough just as you are. If you want even more, press into the right hand and straighten your arm, keeping a micro bend in your right elbow. Massive opener. 
for the body here. Lower back down, release, and other side. So bend your right knee, stretch back with the right arm, stay here, or grab the foot, or you can swivel your right fingertips to face forward and press the foot towards the hip. Stay here breathing deeply, or at any point, you can begin to press into the left palm and straighten the left arm at any amount. Remember, you are enough. You do enough. It is enough. You are enough. You do enough. It is enough. Lower all the way down. Press the mat away. Coming to hands and knees, keeping your hips directly over your knees, and then walk your hands forward, lowering your forehead down to the mat for Anahata. Passive heart opener. You can always bring your forehead onto a block if that's more accessible for you. Affirmation here to repeat is, I am enough. I am more than enough. Slowly come to hands and knees. And begin to come through cat and cow. So tuck the chin, round the spine, and exhale, soft belly, roll the shoulders back. Really see as you arch up that you arch the middle of the back, tailbone towards the knees. That as you flow forward, you open the chest. A few more times of cat and cow. Healing work for the spine. And sweep the right arm up, sweep it underneath the left coming onto your elbow, forearm, or all the way down to the mat and extend your left arm out straight overhead, coming into a lovely shoulder, shoulder blade stretch. Press into the left palm, come back up, tabletop, sweep the left arm up, come with the left arm under the right arm onto your forearm or all the way to the mat and extend your right arm straight up overhead. Coming into the same stretch on the other side. Press into the right hand, come up to tabletop. And then extend the left leg straight out back behind you. Bend the left knee, left ankle directly over the left knee, and just micro pulses here. Micro pulses pressing the left ankle up to the sky and release. Up to the sky and release. Lift the ankle up and release down. Lift it up and release the knee to hip height. Lift the ankle and release. Lift and release. Make sure that ankle is directly over the knee. It likes to kind of go a little too far back or forward. Then extend the left leg. Stay here. Or stretch the right arm forward. Pull your belly up. Strengthen your core. Stay here or sweep the right arm back. If you can, grab the inside edge of the back foot. Kick the left leg up to the sky, open across the heart. Release out a sunbird, extend the arm and leg, and sit back, beginning to circle the hips around. Big circular moment, movements with the hips and then other direction, circling the hips in the other direction. Healing movement for the spine. Find your structure and then extend your right leg back behind you. Bend your right ankle so it's directly over the right knee and begin the micro pulses. So press your ankle up, release it down to hip height. Press the ankle up, 
release. Press the ankle up and 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 release. Press the ankle up. Where does this dog come from? I don't even know. Okay, just walk right through my video. All right, extend the left arm forward, the right leg back. Deep breath in. Slow breath out. You can stay here or stretch back with the left hand for the inside edge of the right foot. Kick the foot into the hand. Sunbird, massive heart opener. Continue to breathe deeply as you release into tabletop. Bring your knees to the width of the mat, sit down on your heels, and extend your arms forward, your fingertips or palms to touch. Balasana. With some breath work here, breathe out all your air. Breathe in one, two, three, four. Breathe out eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in one, two, three, four. Breathe out eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now bring your knees together and sweep your arms back behind you in a second version of Balasana. Continuing the same breath work, breathe out all your air. Breathe in one, two, three, four. Breathe out eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in one, two, three, four. Breathe out eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly rise up. Bring your left leg forward, straighten your left leg, and fold forward towards your left leg any amount. Either stay here or begin to walk your legs out more and more. So you can curl the back toes under, shift the hips more and more, coming down perhaps into Hanya uh, Manasana. You can always use blocks here. And Wherever you are is beautiful. So to begin with, I needed to use the sofa and the coffee table. <laughs> a couple years ago, I just needed to use, I just thought never, ever, ever. <laughs> but it's amazing with yoga, you keep showing up every day and at some point your body just opens up. And if it doesn't, who cares? You are enough, you do enough, it is enough. Slowly come up wherever you are. Pull the left leg back and then extend your right leg forward. So straight right leg out in front of you, fold over your leg, stay here in the half hand manasana or begin to walk it out. Your hands can be on blocks on either side of you or like I began on the sofa and the coffee table. As you inhale, if you're playing and working deeper into Hanya Manasana, as you inhale, you pull towards midline and you rise up a little bit. And as you exhale, you soften downward. So you work with this micro pulse. It's never painful. It's always loving. The affirmation here is, I have enough. I have more than enough. Slowly rise up then shift your seat back. Take a seat all the way down on the mat or on a folded up blanket. Extend the legs out in a V. Doesn't matter how big your V is. We're going to come into some more healing work for the spine. 
So lift the chin, float the heart towards the earth, tuck the chin in, round up, lift the chin, stretch across the throat, and flow forward any amount. Press the shoulder blades back, roll up, lift the chin, and flow forward. So you're flowing through. You can keep the movement high and very small, or you can flow deeper towards the earth. So see what feels good to you today in your body. Next time you round up, feel your low back, middle back, upper back, cervical, the neck, and flow the heart towards the earth any amount. Really press back through the low, middle, upper back, neck. And now opposite direction, chin to the chest, and scoop the head forward, stretch the throat, and then wave back through. So you can keep this movement really small and more in the cervical spine, like the neck area, or you can make it bigger and feel it through the entire spine. So tuck the chin, press the neck back, upper back, middle back, lower back, and then flow the chin forward and up. Feel your way through. Feel the healing work you're doing for your spine here. And rise back up and see how your body feels. Stay here or fold forward any amount, staying up on the fingertips, coming down to the forearms or all the way down. Coming into that same breath work again, breathe out all your air. Breathe in one, two, three, Four, breathe out eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in one, two, three, four, breathe out eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Breathe in one two, three, four, breathe out, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly rise up, help guide your legs together. Sitting with a tall spine, you can extend your right leg straight or bend the right knee and bring your left foot to the outside of the right leg. Bring the right elbow to the outside of the left knee, twisting open here, Ardha Matsyandrasana. Switching sides with the straight leg or bent Twist to the right, bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Bring your fingertips so they face your heels, lift up into tabletop. Lifting your bum up away from the ground, spread across the chest. Lift your hips a little bit higher. Deep breath in. And as you breathe out, lower back down. Bend your left knee, bring your left shin on top of your right thigh. You can walk that right foot forward more if this is too intense. Stay here. Second option is to come forward, bringing that left knee over the left ankle. Flex both feet. Stay sitting up with the tall spine or fold forward any amount into double pigeon. Massive opening for the hips. Slowly come back up. Coming back into tabletop, so knees directly over the ankles as you press into the feet and hands, lift 
the hips, lift the bum up away from the mat, spread across the chest, deep breath in, lift up a little bit higher. And as you exhale, slowly lower back down to the mat. Now bend your right knee, bring your right shin above the left knee. Stay here or stack the right shin on top of the left shin. Flex both feet. Stay here, fold any amount over your legs. Massive hip opener here. Slowly come up, release out of the pose, and then come to your meditative seat. So cross legs or one shin on top of the other or one ankle in front of the other. Warm your hands and bring your right palm on top of the left palm in your lap with your thumbs to touch. Stacking your shoulders over your hips, lengthen your low back and pull your chin in. Begin to imagine light beginning to sparkle in your heart center and revolve in a loop around and round through your entire chest. Allow your body to settle. Bring your attention to your breath. Feel it flow in through your nostrils. And feel it flow out. We'll come into a moving meditation. So as you breathe in, sweep the palms out and up, fingertips to touch overhead, look up. Exhale, extend as much as you can out to the arms, fingertips to the earth. As you breathe in, you repeat the mantra internally, Ananda, fingertips touch overhead. And as you exhale and release the arms down, hum. As you inhale, sweep the palms out and up, fingertips to touch, repeat internally, ananda. And as you exhale, hum. I'll do it one more time with you and then you can continue for two minutes on your own. Sweep the arms out and up, ananda. And as you exhale, lower the arms, hum. So now in your own rhythm, Ananda as you breathe in and lift the arms. Hum as you breathe out and lower the arms. It's time to release the moving meditation. Bring your right palm on top of the left in your lap, thumbs to touch and close your eyes. Just allowing yourself to settle into the spaciousness you've created within you. Either stay here or come all the way down onto your back 
Pulling your knees into your chest, extending your legs up to the sky, hands to the belly. As you're ready, lower your right leg and your left leg down to the mat for Shavasana. Turn your palms up and allow your body to relax deeply to the earth. Begin to wiggle your fingertips and toes. Very lovingly, slowly roll over onto your right side. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, press into the left palm to rise up. May you be blessed. May you be free. May you be healthy and filled with joy. Namaste.